Good morning. It is five something in the morning. I'm just getting ready to take off. So it's rained for a week straight here in Wisconsin. And I know from the comments, uh, it's been raining and there's been very hot weather and, and all across the country. So we've all been dealing with it. Um, today, there's still a chance for rain, unfortunately. What I decided to do on this big driveway, there's like a sidecar parking area and uh, it's really small. So I'm going to bring Bugs and Allen and we're going to go pour it anyway. Right now the sun's out. It looks beautiful out right now. Um, if I don't pour concrete in a week, I start to go through concrete withdrawal. I'm not even kidding. Like I have to have concrete in my life. So we're going to, it's a slight risk for rain, but it's still a risk, but I'm going to take it. I think we're going to be fine and we're just going to do this small pour. We're going to knock that out and then tomorrow the weather looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and, you know, finish the, that big driveway out in two pours. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, a couple shout outs this morning. Let's see. Uh, Elliot G from England, from the UK. So I've been watching the channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And then Good Times and Adventures out in California. Uh, he comments on just about every video that I put out. Really cool guy. I appreciate you watching. Appreciate the comments. I hope you guys uh, have a great day today. All right. Well, if you're wondering where I'm wearing a hat, uh, at, at 5-something in the morning in my office, I have a severe case of bed head this morning, and it looked pretty ridiculous, so I don't need you guys to comment, why are you wearing a hat inside? <laughs> now you know why, because my hair looks completely ridiculous. It's like, ah. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, my daughter and I are going to take off, and we'll see you at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? So my 19 year old son started his concrete business. I've talked about this a couple times, but he uses my truck and trailer and equipment and stuff. And that's fine. Uh, he wanted to go out on his own this year, but uh, now he's, he's in my driveway at my house. He's got my driveway all messed up. He poured by himself yesterday, six yards. And this power, power buggy, he just let the concrete get hard in there. There was like six inches of concrete at the bottom. The power buggy's a disaster. That's a rental, so they're not going to be real happy with that. And then he backs up onto my lawn, and he's pressure washing out here at 11 at night. There's the remains of the power buggy. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, yeah. Messed up my stamped uh, sidewalk here, but what are you going to do? I'm proud of him. It's a struggle. I know how it is. I started when I was 20, so pretty much the same thing. Morning, Mimi. Oh, good morning. Morning. How's the coffee business today? Oh, Jewel, don't tell me we're out of coffee again. Yeah. This is the third time I told you this. Yeah, I know. Come on. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to have some dark roast now. Oh, darn. Okay, it's gonna make me all jittery. <laughs> See, now you're gonna be on YouTube in front of thousands of people not That's having right. coffee. Oh no. Yeah. Sorry, America. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> she ran out of my house blend again. No. Yes. Unacceptable. Nope. So you, you guys get your coffee's free then? Coffee's free today? You Thank you, Jewel. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, how are you? Good. Huh? Not good. No, what happened? There's still a chance for rain this it's afternoon. Afternoon. I know that. So I figured what we'll do is we'll just pour that sidecar parking area. That's it. I mean, if I, it's been a week since we poured concrete, I'm going through withdrawal, man. I don't know about yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I need yeah, some concrete definitely. in my life. I know I all want some too, at least a little bit, you know. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? What'd you say, Adam? The tripod's in the other white truck. That's your job. You got to take care of that. I'm not going to be mad at you, but you need to think of those things. That's that's why I pay you. Okay. Um, so today all we're going to do, because there's still a chance for rain. Yeah, I saw that this morning. So <laughs> honestly, like we're going through concrete withdrawal. We haven't poured concrete in a week. I'm not even <laughs> no, kidding. Like no. I'm jittery. I need concrete. Yeah, it was last Wednesday, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So we're going to pour that little piece right there. Okay. That way we're safe if it rains and yeah, then we satiate our hunger for concrete. <laughs> yeah. Just that? What are you asking about shoes for? I'm going to buy the guy work boots. <laughs> I'm going to give it to him at the end of the job. Right on. 20 by 20. Hey, Tom Ryan from Victory. 
Yes, sir. I need seven yards for my eight o'clock. Man, I can't wait for tomorrow. We're gonna pour this whole driveway tomorrow. We're gonna do it in two pours. We'll just make a trail up to where we're going first. And then we'll use all the rest to make our blocking or whatever. You wanna go this way and then? No, we'll go this way. We'll just make the trail first. Yeah, and they'll make their own trail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, usually. Because they don't hit the mark nope. usually. And I can't believe it's almost the 4th of July. That blows me away. I can't either. It blows me away, man. Doesn't feel like it. Sure doesn't. If we could just clone Al. They don't even want another one of me. One's enough. <laughs> oh, if I had two Al's, I would, I would quit. <laughs> <laughs> Bugs, I gotta run back to the yard. Autumn forgot the tripod. Concrete's not till eight anyway. Right. Autumn forgot my tripod, so we still got a little time before concrete, so I'm gonna run back to the yard and get the tripod. So, not trying to be hard on my daughter, but um, you know, if I wasn't her dad, if I was a regular boss, he would have been a lot harder on her than I was. So, you know, it's important to teach your kids responsibility and uh, you can't pick up all the slack for your kids. Uh, they have to learn. They have to learn responsibility and, and hard work at a young age. If you teach them that at a young age, they'll carry that on into, in, into adulthood and they'll do well and they'll succeed in life. All right, I just got back to the yard. Autumn left the uh, tripod in this truck yesterday. Um, I'm actually just gonna drive this truck. Man, I got my new truck, but honestly, uh, I hate getting in that thing. I don't have seat, I don't have seat covers yet. And uh, I don't know, it's just too clean of a truck. So I'm gonna drive this thing for now. Don't let it happen again, okay? okay? Don't let it happen again, okay? okay. Showtime finally, man. Oh, Morning. Morning. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm going fair. Yeah? yeah fair? Good. That's all I can oh, get out of you is fair? fair today, man. man, maybe we'll cheer you up. You know you like pouring with us, so okay. maybe by the time you leave, you'll be in a good mood. That's what we'll go for. I'll do it later. It's only seven yards, but as my old friend used to say, something is something. Hey, did you ever puddle before? Yeah. You did? Puddle? Yeah, did you ever puddle concrete? No. I can tell. Put your shoot in there, I'll scrape it out or see what we got. I hope this doesn't get away from us, Al. Yeah. <laughs> Good 
Blake. All right, just finishing up bowl floating here. A couple tips with the bowl float. Uh, some guys have a tendency to run the bowl float too fast. You really got to run the bowl float kind of at a medium to slow speed. I'll show you. This is the kind of speed that I like to run the bowl float at. Uh, it brings up the moisture from the bottom and it'll close up better and leave you with a creamier surface to finish later. All right, thank you, man. Have a good yeah, day. You Appreciate it. No All right, yep. All right, guys are edging up the slab. Now it's just a waiting game. Next step is to put the joints in, and then they'll jump on and finish it and broom it. This way, Al. More, right there. It's gonna be a while. All right, so it is the day after the video that you're watching right now. We just ended up pouring that entire driveway. That's gonna be the next video. It actually went really good. It was like uh, 37 yards, but the reason I stopped in the middle of this video is at this point in the video, I actually just took a walk into the backyard and uh, I just started talking for like two and a half minutes and just explaining like a life principle or whatever that's helped me in life. And it's not going to be for everybody, so um, I'm going to put it at the end, at the very end, after the outro. So if you guys want to stick around to watch it, it's completely optional. I just didn't want to hear the comments like, hey man, you should just stick to concrete. I totally get it if you don't want to watch it. So, um, you know, just you just stop the video at the outro and don't watch it then. But for those of you who want to stick around, it's there. You want something to drink, Bugs? You want anything? Okay. All right, I'm going to get something. I think Al would look good in that. What do you think? <laughs> I think Bugs would look good in this one. How's your day? It's going. Good. Yeah, it's setting up a little bit. That's it's not that bad. Seven yards is easy money. I know I just had to touch the concrete a little bit though. It feels good to get some concrete poured, man, after a week of rain. I just wanted to pour something. I'm happy just to get that little thing done. And honestly, that's gonna make our life a lot easier tomorrow because the width of the driveway, now I can stand on this that we poured today, tomorrow, and I can cut all the joints, I can broom from this slab. It's gonna make tomorrow so much easier. So that's another reason I wanted to pour this little thing today. All right, we're done on this job. It turned out really good. Obviously, it was only seven yards, super easy. Um, that's gonna help us tomorrow. So it's still really early. Let me see what time it is. It's like, it's not even 10.30 yet. So we're not pouring anything else because of the chance of rain today. Uh, but me and Al are gonna go do some more bush trimming. <laughs> I'm gonna have mercy on bugs. I'm just gonna send them home. You got a day where you can knock that stuff out? Knock it out. I like the attitude. So whatever, let's go knock it out. I'm not gonna video bush trimming two days in a row. Uh-uh, not gonna happen. So anyways, um, that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, I guess I'll just see you guys in the morning. So you guys might have noticed that uh, 
one of the guys is in a particular bad mood today. And the reason for that is I'm going to keep it real general. Uh, I'm not going to embarrass or shame anybody, but just keeping it real general. He, he had somebody that he thought was a friend. He borrowed him money and they did him wrong. So he's kind of stewing on that. It's in, it's on his mind and, uh, it's putting him in a bad mood, you know, which I can completely understand. And a lot of you can understand that too. Um, as a business owner, all you guys that are business owners, managers, foremen, and any kind of leadership, it happens to us all the time. All the time. Because a lot of us have a heart that wants to see people succeed. So we tend to try to help them out. We borrow people money, and, you know, we give them time off. We <clears throat> We just go above and beyond to try to help them because, like I said, we, we want to see them go forward and take steps in the right direction in their life. That's really what it's all about, being a boss or a manager or even a parent, honestly, a leader of any kind. And uh, one of the things that you have to be careful of, and trust me, I've been stabbed in the back. I can't even tell you how many times in my career, uh, you know, as a as an owner of a concrete business, a contractor. Um, one of the things that you have to really be careful for is uh, not forgiving the people and uh, letting kind of this bitterness build up in you. And uh, if you've ever met a bitter person, you'll know it because they tend to complain about everything. They blame all their problems on somebody else and they're just continually in a bad mood and they're bitter. They're blaming other people for their current circumstances. So you really have to be careful. Uh, if you're a leader, honestly, you just have to expect that. It's part of the deal. And you can't let that stuff build up. You have to actually, like, purposefully just let it go. You have to forgive the person, even if it's in your own mind, even if you don't get a chance to talk to somebody or talk to that person about it. You just got to let it go. Or you're going to end up being that bitter, miserable person. Nobody wants to be friends with a miserable person. I can tell you that right now. A miserable, bitter person. They're just very unpleasant people to be around. So... <sighs> I know it's a little weird talk for a contractor, but uh, it's just something that, you know, not a lot of people talk about. Uh, it should be talked about more uh, because it really ruins a lot of people's lives. It, it destroys relationships. And honestly, bitterness is just like a cancer. It'll just eat you up from the inside and then it'll come out. 